Good morning, everybody. My name is Miss Hannah, and I am the Youth Services Librarian. Welcome to Toddler Time at the Seguin Public Library. We're going to get started with our first song, Hello Friends. I hope you can sing along with me. Very fun. Now one we all know, if you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap, clap. And if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. And, oh, my favorite part, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Can you shout that with me? If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. together so that we can uh, see our stories and I have something new with me today I have a thousand books before kindergarten bag and there's a surprise inside so that we can find out what our stories are about so let's open the bag and see what's inside <gasps> Ooh. do you know what this is this is a giraffe like a giraffe. And what's next? Ooh, a lion. Do you see the lion's big mane? And what does a lion say? I bet you know. A lion says, roar. Okay, so we have a giraffe and a lion. And now we have this big guy with these two big horns. That's a rhinoceros or rhino for short. So a giraffe, lion, rhino. There's another big cat. This is a tiger. See the stripes? The orange and black stripes on the tiger. And the tiger also says, roar. And finally, last but not least, do you know what this is? It has a long trunk and big flappy ears. That's right, it's an elephant. 
Oh my goodness, I love elephants. They're so cool. And parents, you can pick up a thousand books before kindergarten bag for free at the library, along with a reading log to keep track of all the books you read together. So that means our books today are all about animals. And I think we have some zoo animals too. So our first story is called Animal Opposites. This is one of our favorites at the library. You might have seen us read it before. This one's by Peter Horacek and used with permission from Candlewick Press. Peter Horacek's Animal Opposites. And look at this, we have a big rhinoceros on the front. Oh wait, no, this is a hippo. And then a butterfly, a meerkat, and a cheetah at the top. So I bet we'll see those animals inside. Short dog. And tall giraffe. That giraffe is very tall. So short dog, tall giraffe. Oh, who's that? Is that a bunny rabbit? Quiet rabbit. So what's the opposite of quiet? It's loud. And this is a loud lion. Roar. That's right. Rabbits are very quiet when they're hopping around, but lions are very loud when they roar. And this is a pig, and this says fat pig. Pigs do get very big, but thin meerkat. I love the meerkat's face. Smiling. Oh, look at this guy. Still sloth. Very still. Can you be still like a sloth? That means you don't move. It's hard for me to be still. So I'm going to keep moving. Bouncy kangaroo. Can you bounce like a kangaroo? Bounce, bounce, bounce. Here's the hippo, heavy hippo, very heavy. So the opposite of heavy is light. And what is that thing that's very light, flapping its wings? It's a butterfly, very light. So heavy and light, smooth frog. That's right, if we were able to pet this frog, it would feel very smooth. And the opposite of smooth, spiky. And this is a spiky porcupine. So if we, if we pet the porcupine, ouch, oh, ouch, those needles are sharp, so you don't want to pet a porcupine. Slow snail. Snails are very slow. Oh, and we have a clue here for what is next. This to me looks like a tail. So the opposite of slow is fast. And that's a fast cheetah, one of the fastest animals ever. Here we have a weak mouse. And the opposite of weak is strong. And this, this strong animal is called a gorilla. Strong gorilla. Can you make strong arms and show us how strong you are? That's fun. So weak and strong. Here we have a white goose. There's the white goose. And the opposite here of white is colorful. Our peacock is broken. This is a colorful peacock. I see lots of colors on this peacock. I see blue on the body. I see green feathers and purple and blue on the feathers too. Peacocks are so pretty. Oh, can you see this? It's so small, small. Ladybug. Ladybug.
bugs are very small and the opposite of small, wow, the opposite of small is big. And this is a big elephant. Look how cool this page is. You can't even see me anymore, it's so big. All right, and that is The End of Animal Opposites by Peter Horacek. I love that book. Okay, so since we talked about opposites, let's do Two Little Black Birds. We did this last week, so we'll pretend our pointer fingers are blackbirds and hold them up like this. And it goes, two little blackbirds sitting on a hill, one named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. And then you hold them up high, they're on a cloud. Okay. Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One named Quiet. And the other named Loud. Fly away, Quiet. Fly away, Loud. Come back loud. Now down low in your lap. Two little blackbirds sitting down low. One named Fast and the other named Slow. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. That one is really fun to do. And those are opposites, fast and slow are opposites and quiet and loud are opposites. Next, let's zip, zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon, ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! And we blast off into outer space. Let's do that one more time, that's so fun. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, Blast off! Wow, that is so fun. Did you blast off to the moon? You saw me blast off. So now since we're on the moon, let's sing about the stars that are all around us. Let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. It goes like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good job. Did you do some of those signs with me? That's right, this is Twinkle. That's one of my favorites. Twinkle, twinkle. Okay, our next story about animals is called One, Two, Three, To The Zoo. This is an oversized counting book by Eric Carle, used with permission from Penguin Random House. So we have numbers and animals in this book. Wow, look at all those numbers, one through 10. That reminds me of our preschool story time series, all about numbers. What is that? Do you know what that is? Well, I'll give you a hint. It makes the sound choo-choo. That's right, it's a train. I even see the conductor inside. And we have on the train one elephant, two, what are those? We saw those in the last book too, two hippos. Three giraffes, let's count them. One, two, three. Also on the train are four, do you remember what those are? The big names? Lions, 
four lions. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Very good. Okay, now on this train car, we have five brown bears. Let's count the bears. One, two, three, four, five. And now on this train car, six. Do you know what those are? Do they look like alligators? One, two, three, four, five, six alligators. <laughs> on this on this train car, we have seven blue seals. Seven blue seals. And on this one, do you know what those guys are? I'll give you another hint. They say, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Those are monkeys. And we have eight monkeys. And what comes after eight? Nine. Uh-oh, this car is full of snakes. There's nine snakes. Do you know what a snake says? Do you? They say, Sss. Okay, and finally we'll count again on this page. We have 10 birds. There's different kinds of birds, but there are 10 birds. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good job. Let's hold up all 10 fingers too. 10 fingers. And then let me bring my book back up to you. There's, there's more. Oh, what does that look like? There's all the animals and people there visiting them at the zoo. That's right. And then on the end pages, we have all those numbers again. And that's the end. All right, we saw lots of fun animals in that one. And I think in one of our books, we saw a frog and we have a really fun frog song called mm Ah Went the Little Green Frog One Day. We'll do this a couple of times so that you can, can sing it along with me. Um, and it's a really fun song, parents, because you can use just nonsense words and, and, and make things up. It's very fun. So let's see if I can do it with the ukulele. your pants on when we were doing baby stories because this one is just always fun to sing about when you're getting dressed. So it goes like this. Baby put your pants on, pants on, pants on. Baby put your pants on, one, two, three. Baby put your pants on, pants on, pants on. Baby put your pants on, one, two, three. Leg to the left, leg to the right. Wiggle and jiggle and pull them up tight. 
Leg to the left, leg to the right. Wiggle and jiggle and pull them up tight. Baby, put your pants on, pants on, pants on. Baby, put your pants on. One, two, three. Very good. And you can sing that about putting your socks on too, or your shoes, or your hat, or whatever you need to put on that day. Oh, now it's time for our last story that we're going to do as a flannel board story. And so here is my nice flannel board. Hopefully my flannel pieces won't fall off for the video. That happens all the time at in-person story time, so we'll see. And this is adapted from a book by Eric Carl, another Eric Carl book. And this one you might know, this one's very popular. It's called Brown Bear, Brown Bear. But ours might be a little bit different. So Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? Okay, here's our Brown Bear. And so we start with him and we say, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Oh, so let's put it on where the bird is looking at brown bear. And then we say, red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow, what is this? Duck looking at me. Quack, quack. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a green, what is this? Frog, like in our song. Frog, I see a green frog looking at me. And what do frogs say? Ribbit, ribbit. Or in our song they say, mm ah. Mm ah, mm ah. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a, this one's a little hard to tell, but this is a purple cat looking at me. And what do cats say? Meow, meow. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. And this is a Scotty dog. I've known a couple of those before. Those are so cute. And what do dogs say? You know what dogs say? Woof, woof, or ruff, ruff. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. You might not be able to see the black sheep very well on the black flannel board, but that's okay. That one is in the book. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see an orange, what is this? Fish looking at me. In the book it might be goldfish, but it's, this one's very orange. So it's a very orange fish. Orange fish, orange fish, what do you see? I see children looking at me. And so here we have children. Hello children. Let's get all of you guys up there. And then we will say, children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a green frog, a purple cat, what else? A white dog, a black sheep, a blue horse, and what's last? The orange fish looking at us. All right, that's the end of Brown Bear, Brown Bear. Like I said, the book is a little bit different, especially at the ending. So you can check that book out from the Seguin Public Library. Put it on hold today, it's a great one. 
if you don't already have one at home. Okay, let's do, oh, this one's so fun. Let's do the itsy bitsy spiders. So let's take out our itsy bitsy spiders like this. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right, now let's get our big furry spider. I have him hiding down here. Here's our big furry spider. And you at home can pretend that your whole hand is your big furry spider and it can climb up the water spout like that. The big furry spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the big furry spider went up the spout again. All right, he made it up the spout again. Good job, spider. And now for our silly verse. That's right, the scaly alligator is going to climb up the water spout. What do you have on you, gator? Okay, you can see his scales are almost like little squares there. And he's gonna go like this while he climbs up the water spout. The scaly alligator went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the gator out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the scaly alligator went up the spout again. All right, and now he's gonna say, see you later, alligator. And we'll say, after a while, crocodile. Later, gator. Okay, and now we're gonna do a rhyme. This is big, more opposites. So open your arms big and wide. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. And this is tall, tall, tall. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. This is fast, fast, fast. And this is slow, slow, slow. Very good. And now for our closing songs, the more we get together, we do signs for that. This is the sign for more. This is what we do for get together. And then this is a sign for happy. Um, what else? We do friends. So we say your friends are my friends. So you can just hook your pointer fingers together like that for friends. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very good. Did you do the signs with, with me? That's a good one to practice together after story time's over. And finally, we'll sing our, our last closing song, Goodbye Friends. Um, and it sounds just like our opening song, Hello Friends. You could even sing this as a good night song, so you could sing good night friends. But this is Goodbye Friends. Here we go.